Uh, greetings, people. Welcome to EatCode. And uh, thank you for coming back. And in this one, we want to look at how you can um, migrate from MySQL to Postgres. Maybe you have a database that is in uh, MySQL. You have already the tables, the structure, the data. And uh, you want a quick way to produce the same for Postgres, uh, PostgreSQL. Uh, you don't want to start from scratch. So in this one, we'll be going. Uh, we we'll look at how you can do that. Yeah, easy steps, very easy. So for uh, for along one number one thing, what you need to do, let's you have to make sure that you have your Postgres. Uh, you have your if you're using Windows, make sure you have Postgres installed and you have created the user. We'll skip that. We assume that if you are having this kind of a problem, you must have known. You must uh, be sure, uh, be familiar with creating users in Postgres and also in MySQL. So I have a remote PC that is on my network, where I have my database, MySQL database. So we'll be using, we'll be using that database. So first of all, let's connect to that database, uh, MySQL user. Mm -hmm. uh, what was my user? My username was Martin. Then we, we have a password. Then the host, the host uh, 192.168.123.145 on my network. Uh, yes, then uh, let me supply the password. Good, we in. So I will take one example of the databases that is in the in that uh, remote. MySQL. Uh, so let's use Collabora DB. Wonderful. And let's. There's a number of tables. So we can see the tables. Uh, quite many. About five tables. So you don't want to go ahead to recreate all these tables. And uh, the, you can know the, the structure is not easy. For instance, if we describe the users, you can see we have that. You can show, create. Uh, Users, you can see the oh, uh, don't create. Uh, do you have user? You create what was the oh, yeah, so create table. So, this now imagine now having a uh, kind this this for 45 tables. So, and yet we have uh, the database, but in MySQL, so we need that in SQL in PostgreSQL. So what we do uh, now I'll be using Linux to do this so again I'll connect to my Linux my Linux on uh, yeah then once I'm connected what you need to do first you need to install uh, something called the loader yeah so you go ahead and up the the door up uh, install uh, PG loader. Make sure you update. Uh, you can run up update. I already have it. So once you download, you download that. You need to also to download some other packages. I already have them, but I'll show you how to do that. Uh, so you need to up, uh, install. You have SBLC. L, sorry, you have um, zip. Most of these. Most of them are in uh, Linux. Depends on what version you're using. Uh, we need this one. We need uh, Go. We need Perl. We need Mac. We need Free. Uh, TDS. Uh, Dev. We need Lib. Uh, Libzip. Uh, Dev. Uh, yes. Once you install those ones, then you need to. Uh, yeah. You're you're good. Now, make sure that they. Uh, the Postgres is learning, so with Postgres, PostgreSQL, uh, make sure that it's running, and also make sure that uh, the MySQL status uh, service is running as well. Good. Now, if they are learning, so uh, you need to go to uh, to the to the what to the postgres 
Postgres user. So let's go to uh, Postgres i dash u Postgres code, and uh, we need to uh, yes, we need to create the database. The database in this case, our database is this one, uh, Pala Pala DB. So that's what we want to create so that we can dump it. Uh. So create a uh, create database. Yep. So database created and exit. All right. Also exit from the Postgres user. Now, once you're done with that, uh, what we need to do is now we run uh, this command. PG loader, yeah. If you, can, if you can see when I type, when I type PGL, then tab complete complete meaning that it was successfully installed. So we need for MySQL. This is a simple syntax we will be using. So this one, the MySQL user is Martin. Uh, then the password also uh, it's a minor. Then at the server, so 192.168.14123.145. Then the the, the database which is collaborator db then from that the next uh, argument is the postgresql postgresql uh yes then the the postgres username which is postgres and the password is also uh root given root then add localhost this one is at localhost and uh, then the database uh it the same is the name the same you notice that we created that database here the same name then i think that's right you just send it uh, hit the the enter the enter key and wait for it to complete so it might take a few seconds a few minutes depending okay there's a problem uh information denied so let's fix that let's fix that one so to fix that one we'll use sudo make sure that we have the right privileges you can see that one says that permission denied it's good sometimes not sometimes all the time it's good to understand the logs uh yeah when you see permission denied means now that has to do with rights and privileges so you try that as a super user as you can see as we, we when we did that in as sudo uh we can see that the data the data the structure the data the creative boss has been done then the, the the data has been dumped as well so that's very good so what we need to do is now to confirm that uh we have we already have that now in our uh uh um postgresql so again let's uh log in log in then let's specify the database here uh yes collabola db then then we can check the the tables let me maximize this one uh no those are the relations so, so let's see uh the tables yeah so to check the tables let's use that one command dg to check the tables as you can see we have now the tables the tables the schema is collabola land and the tables and uh yeah have that maybe we can uh, we can see to check if the data has been dumped as well let's select from university university i think there was a typo let me see uh because the name is not university it's not correct yeah so let me let me copy that uh, But yeah, you can see. So the data is uh, is dumped well, and now that's it. You, so no, so in a few seconds or in a few minutes, you have now your MySQL database in place, and all the data and the structure is well maintained. So that's it for this. Uh, so I hope it helps you. For those guys who are trying to migrate from MySQL and uh, to Postgres, and you already have data in uh, MySQL, I hope this uh, will help you. So if it does, uh, please hit the like button and share with friends who might find this useful as well. So thank you and uh, God bless you. Have a blessed time.